favorite thing at Fan Aids of the Week. My name is Ellen. This week we are taking a look at this 1956 Martin D18 acoustic guitar. Here at Fan Aids House Music, we don't do a lot of dealing in like high end, super perfect collectible type stuff. So this one is suitably beat up. It doesn't have any cracks or anything, it's just beat up. And as such, it does not cost as much as a down payment on a home. A down payment on a car maybe, but not a down payment on a home. <laughs> but my ears are located on the sides of my head. One thing that's not happening for you, the listener, is that your internal organs are not vibrating. That is doing something to my insides. Like vitamin K. Makes your blood coagulate. that I've heard a lot of different E chords in my life. That might be the best one. Just like if there was a dictionary of sounds and you could look up acoustic guitar in it, that's this guitar. The only thing is that it's a dreadnought and my arm's tired. I wish that I had a body type that was better suited to huge guitars because I love the way they sound. Got a lot of sustain. Woo, my arm is tired from playing this guitar. Gotta have longer arms, bigger, longer arms, tall, bigger torso. Maybe if I just kind of sit up like this. I think my arm would get less tired playing this guitar if it sounded like this. Are you a really loud singer? Well, are you? If you're a loud singer, you need a loud guitar. That's what this is. It's loud, but good. We have some guitars that are loud, but bad. That's a, just a big old. if I put my head like that. You know how some guitars just make you want to keep playing guitar? That's what this is. If you're in the market to only own one guitar for the rest of your life, this is probably the guitar you should pick. It's expensive, but it's not that expensive. Well, it's kind of expensive. It's a really good deal considering what it is and what it sounds like. I give it five out of five Ellen's. Ellen, Ellen, Ellen. Alan, Alan. Here at Fanny's House Music, we also sell vintage clothing. This is a Mac Studio white cotton jacket, and I really want to like it. I tried it on the other day because I was like, you know what? A white jacket. I bet I could keep that clean. I recently just got all white, um, you know, sheets and stuff. And here's the deal. It's just got so much going for it. If it was just the motorcycle jacket look with, th this is great. So here, this is all great. But, and, and it, I love shoulder pads. Does it have elbow pads? No, that's the only thing that would make it better. But here's the situation. There's just a lot of material going on back here and I'm just not sure what this about. Maybe if I look in the mirror, I can articulate it a little better. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's working from the front, which makes me think that I should use it on stage because I'm mostly, facing forward when I'm on stage, but the the back has got this kind of like this 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 Prince Eric kind of floofy thing going on back here and I just don't know what it's it about and I wish that it wasn't there because then I would buy it. So that's how I feel about it. Oh oh and you can roll up the sleeves too? Thank you for watching Ellen's favorite thing at Bandies of the Week. Tune in next week for me to have another favorite thing. <laughs>